Recording in progress. 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 Can everybody hear me? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Okay. Sonia Jashi Krishna. Yes, we can. Men, uh, invite you all to this beautiful session. Let's start with Omka, but uh, I have a feeling I'm going to have a rough day today with my Wi Fi. So let's start with Omka and then I can hand over to Nina Ben. And uh, obviously, Gita Ben is there for cover on, covering me, so she'll take over from me. Thank you. Oh. 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 Om Bhur Bhuva Swaha Tatsavitur Varenyam Bargo Devasya Dimei Bargo Devasya Dimei Dio yo na prachodaya. Om. Om. Vakyati mai. Dio yo na prachodaya. Dio yo na prachodaya. Dio yo na prachodaya. Thank you very much. I'm not going to waste uh, much time. So I'll just hand over to Nina Ben. All yours, Nina Ben. Thank you all. Uh, and a very good start, uh, Pana Ben and Saroj Ben and uh, Gita Ben. So let us start now our class. Before we start, I will explain the five elements. Yes, I, as I said in my previous class, everybody should know the five elements and what, uh, what happens when you press it. So when you press the tip, the tip, just press it, the tip over here, yeah, over here. So press it it will balance both the sides of your head, both the hemisphere of your head, the top of the thumb, the top of the thumb, when it goes like that, like that, up here, the top of the thumb, that is the bottom of your fingers, the element will increase. It increases the element. When the fingers go at the bottom of your thumb, it reduces, yeah, it decreases the element. So it is very, very important that you should know these three things that what happens with the five element and it also balances your whole body. So now we are going to start with the Gyan Mudra, you can sit in any position, any um, comfortable position. You can sit in lotus position, you can sit in Dandasan, Dandasan, you can sit in Vajrasan, or you can sit on the chair. No sitting on the sofa, and you must have the chair without wheels. The dining table chairs are very, very good and they are very uh, strong. So we must use dining table chairs. 
So everybody sit in uh, uh, Gyan Mudra, Gyan Mudra, and we start our prayers. Eyes closed. Now Gyan Mudra will increase the memory power, the concentration. So we want concentration. We don't want to think anything else, but uh, uh, we want to connect to the Lord. So deep breathe, push your shoulders back, back straight, your stomach up, all the chakras, and you meditate on the chakras as well. So let us get connected to the, to connect to the Lord. It is our journey to purify our mind, body, and soul. To clear our mind, which is covered with lots and lots of impurities. Now we are going to meditate. Anaya, sorry, there is background noise. Anaya. So now we are going to meditate. Maximize your happiness, your health, your immunity system, and cut down the stress, cut down the anxiety and depression, and learn the powerful breathing. Fill up your body with positive energy let go of all the negative energy. Now you are going to meditate. Let us begin our day with a simple uh, life. Let us begin with a smile on our face. Warm thoughts in our mind. Happiness in our soul and heart filled up with lovingness, pure thoughts, and feelings for each other. So deep breathe, seven chakras, meditate on your seven chakras. Um, bow to the Mother Earth and sun salutation and a very, very warm welcome to all of you who have joined today's woman to woman class. So now we are going to uh, start with, uh, with two times, we are going to start with the Surya Namaskar. Yes, Surya Namaskar activates our whole body part. It stretches all up the Nas Nadio. So let us all stand and do Surya Namaskar twice. So first I will explain uh, what the Surya Namaskar does in your body. So deep breathe. Deep breathe in a Namaste position. Get connected to the Lord, deep breathe, and you breathe out and gently take your hands right at the back. Now, people who have got haranya, people who have got back problem should not go back or with the back should not go down. So each time you're going to listen to your body. You're going to listen to your body, what your body tells you. Yes, so now we are going to start. So inhale, exhale, now gently go back. Stretch in your abdomen. Because, and you look at the back, so there is, it will affect your thyroid gland. So it helps your thyroid gland. And Gently you come down, it relaxes your bottom and your thighs and your hamstring. Yes, so now we bring your hands in front and you go in this position and right leg back. It improves our hips, flexibility and a stretch to the groin muscles. Yeah. 
So, and then you can down. It strengthens your core muscles and your abdomen. And you come up, lift up your middle part, and you come up, stretching your abdomen and your thigh again. And then you come back again, putting your, sorry, the right, right leg, you come in mountain position, you take your left in front, stretching your right leg at the back, and then come back in the mountain position, which is going to strengthen your arms, your shoulder, and your legs. And then you come back again, and you lift up and you do cobra position and this time your right leg in front first it was left right and now it is you sit on your right leg and you come back again and mountain position and go back and to the back and down so first one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So one more. One. Breathe in, breathe out. Don't forget a back. Down, stretching all your back. Now it will be left leg. First it was right. So now it is going to be left. And you sit on the right leg and head up, get back to the mountain position. On your knees, lift up the bottom, middle part, up, mountain position, and up. And you relax. And this was our stretching to our back. So now we are going to do stretching with the music. And we are going to do a fast stretching. Because we have already done the slow stretch. So it will be fast. So everybody get ready. Get ready. Keep on moving your waiting for Kelly. Waiting is connected. Fast move.
root chakra up, exhale. So go down, inhale, 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 up till you are straight. When you are straight, your muladhar chakra is going to contract up. It will strengthen your core muscles. It will strengthen your Swadhisthana chakra. And mainly it is uterus and muladhar chakra and down. Now change your leg left. Breathe in. Gently, gently see the effect of contracting your core muscles. So up, 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 keep on inhaling till you are completely straight. And your muladhar chakra is contracting. Hold, exhale. Change your leg again. You have to do each exercise five times so you come up and the right hand you go in front but your body should be straight and just up so what happens the side of muladhar chakra is contracting and you come back now change your leg and just come up straight and take your left hand up across and your body should be remember straight so the side of your muladhar chakra is contracting so now put both the legs and you go wider again a big contractions on the muladhar chakra go side up and down inhale come little bit down and gently inhaling more oxygen and apart. Your hands should be apart. Muladhar chakra will contract and stay like that for a few seconds and down. Inhale, 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 up and widen the belt. Your body should be straight. In this case, your Manipur Chakra is gone inside and Muladhar Chakra is contracted. So now you are going to go up again. Now you just hold one side, one side. Every time you are going to hold it straight and you, you stand straight, breathe in, taking it right in front. Now you are contracting your Muladhar Chakra this way, slightly sideways. And you come back. Inhale. Your hand should be go, going right straight. And down. Change. Change. Now breathe in. Breathe in. Now you take the other end. Yes, so other end of the belt, hold it tight, hold it the way I say, inhale and going up. You're going sideways, hold it. At this moment, your Muladhar Chakra is contracting. Hold, exhale. Your other leg should be slightly behind the left leg so right leg should be slightly away from the belt breathe in and go in front whichever way sometimes people want to go straight and then go which is fine sometimes people just want to go straight stretch on the side stretch straight stretch will contract more but if you haven't got strength in your arm you do less. And this is our contractions of our Muladhar Chakra. So now you breathe in, you hold straight and you're going to go straight. Make it shorter. 
and you go down. Still concentrating on your Muladha Chakra. Inside your Muladha Chakra, your shoulder will help stretching your shoulder blade and Muladha Chakra and come down. Inhale, straight. Look at this uh, contraction and down. So now you go up again at the back. You're not going to go on your left. You're not going to take the hair because once it catches your rubber band, it would be difficult to get it out. So just be, be below your shoulders where your sciatica uh, now is and up and pull your abdomen up pull your abdomen pull your abdomen up yeah while you are going sideways so inhale and up inhale Inhaling, contracting your Muladha Chakra, making the core muscles stronger, making the Swadhisthan Chakra stronger, and down. Inhale, and exhale. So these are only few exercises with, with the belt. Yes, but all relates to your Muladhar Chakra. You've got to remember the last one, interlock your hands. And you're going to go up on your toes. So inhale. So you, what is happening now is your digestive system, all. And the passage to throw all the toxins will help. So it helps your bladder and down. So inhale. Have a habit of going like this even while sitting and standing. When you have a drink, uh, any sort of drink, once you finish, you put your hand up. If you want to go on your toes, nice. If you start wobbling, just put your feet straight and go for a little few seconds and then to your right. So any excess water will pass through the uterus. So inhale and few times you got to do this and you relax, you relax, you relax. Now we are going to go through quickly for the our uh, our uh, bladder point so bladder a lot of people say that they have got problems of bed wetting yeah and it is very very embarrassing when you are growing up and you have that problem it's you shouldn't get shy but Bed wetting should be treated. It should not take it easy. Kechalo, thank you. We will do something later on. No. Bed wetting and snoring relates to each other. Yes, so those two things should be treated immediately, not wasting time. But with the exercises, with the mudras, it helps a lot. So normally it is common. It happens when the person is in a very deep sleep, in a dreaming straight, and they dream of going to the toilet and not having a control of the bladder at night when they are fast asleep, when they wake up, this is what happens. In that short cases, it's you one should not drink anything after seven no liquid after seven if in case if you happen to drink water just immediately go like that for a few times and you do it 
Now, bedwetting has got various factors to play the role. If the nerves becomes weak, as we grow older, I'm talking about elder people, the nerves are going loose, the bladder nerves, yeah? So that is, it is in a very slow process. So gradually, so you got to strengthen it by exercise. Then a hormone imbalance. People have hormone imbalance. Then people who are diabetic, they have the weak bladder. So they have to have plenty of water and keep on urinating all the time. So it, uh, uh, they have a weak uh, bladder. So now breathing is interrupted. When you snore, snoring is the main factor of urinator at night, yeah? So snoring is related. When you snore, you are sleeping straight. The tongue blocks the oxygen going into your brain. When you snore, the oxygen is not going into your brain, which is very, very useful. So the brain does not have a control of your bladder because the brain has lost without oxygen the brain has lost the control of your bladder so that is one thing and this is a serious matter you should not ignore snoring and bedwetting i keep on reminding you now people who are losing a lot of weight they have a good appetite but they keep on losing the uh, weight. So that is another factor. The main factor is constipation. When you are constipated, it doesn't help. Now, the muscle of the stomach and our bladder, constipation and bladder, the, it, uh, the muscles are used to control urine and tools. The elements are same. So when constipation is for a longer term, the muscles become defunctional. It doesn't function properly. And that contributes to bedwetting at night. Now people who have got a lot of stress, anxiety, anxiety and stress, they can control bedwetting with the mudra. So which mudra? Apan mudra is the best mudra to perform. The two middle finger, which one is the two middle finger? This. Which one is to the middle finger? So apan mudra should be controlled for your kidney and bladder. Apan mudra. So always go in this mudra and do longer time kapanbhati. So that will really help. Yes? For 10 minutes start and then we do the next thing is bhaihya pranayam. Contracting, which we are going to do it and I will explain the mechanism of your bladder, how it works. Then you do gaumuk asan. Again, we will be doing that today. So gaumuk asan. And then the, uh, the legs. Now I'm going to show you the bladder points. The bladder points are very, very effective. One should do it all the time. So pressing the bladder point. In your leg, there is a point over here. The bladder point, it is, this is outside and inside. There is a point over here. You press it. Can everybody see the bladder point? It is over here. So you press it for 10 seconds away, 10 seconds away, 10 seconds away. So three times you will be doing in both the legs. Where? Inside, inside part over here, the bladder point. Nina, Nina, I look like a round hoy ne soft hoy pug hoy ne. Yeah, 
Yeah, the that's right. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh -huh. So this is for the legs. And now what Sarah Ben say, in your hand, in your hand. Now this is our, I'll show you the bladder point, which is at the bottom. Just a little uh, 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 lifting up the muscle. So press that and three times, 10 seconds, three times, 10 seconds, three times, yeah? Both the hands. So where you're going to press, where your finger, little finger is, and then right at the this point. This is your bed. Now, the pressure points works miraculously. So everybody should do that. So right at the over here, this is the blender point. So now you know your arm, your hands, pressure point, and legs. Now the main point is over here, right at the top, right at the top. So this will control the bed wetting. If you don't remember any other, so the three points should be must done over here. So this is the bladder point. Press it and out. Press it and out. Now these are the points you should remember. When do you do pressure points? Before you go to bed the last time. So in actual fact, three times a day. Who have got this problem three times a day. But the last time you do just before you go to bed. Then the third, po uh, third point is you press your bladder point with your three fingers, three elements, your bladder point, press it and out. Three times, 10 seconds and out. 10 seconds and out. 10 seconds and out. The other thing is you give a warm, a warm uh, pressure point. So you, you pressure, your, your, you do your uh, hands like that, and at the back, over here, you press it. You, you got to lift up your, and on your skin, you press it like that. And out. Again, three times, yes? And you build the warm compression. Warm compression. Now don't take the towel and start doing it because hand compression really helps faster on your skin. So these are the main thing. Now there is a home remedy which everybody should do it. You should have black till, black tall, black tall kawana. If you don't like just like that, then make a gorelay, take joggery, joggery, and then make joggery cheeky, but put a little pinch of soot, ginger powder, ginger powder, gore, and black tall. So if you mix it, it becomes a little bit harder. Put it in the, in the sunny and make like a cheeky, like a burfi. So that black tall, is excellent, excellent, because uh, quite a few people who have done the pressure point exercise and having black tall all the time, that cheeky, every day, sorry, not all the time, you can't have, keep on having, so that has helped them and it has stopped their bed wetting, yes? So you got to control the muscles, your core muscles and your, uh, 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 your uterus point. So now we are going to, I will show you later on few other exercise. So when you, everybody should get up now, you've heard uh, what, uh, if, even if you can't see my face, don't worry. So you stand up, your feet apart, your five elements on your knees and your legs apart and gently you go down. And this is the way you sit on your legs apart. Now, if you have got, now this is very, very good for the pelvic muscle. So it makes the pelvic stronger. 
Breathe in, stay like this. Exhale. Inhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. So this, you must do it. Yeah. And now we are going to continue with our Bastrika Pranayam. So now we are going to strengthen our lungs. See, earlier I said how important the oxygen is. Yes, so you see, the oxygen, if it doesn't go into your brain, brain, brain will not send the message to any part of your body. So it stops. So it stopped by snoring. So it did not have a control on your bladder. So now Bastrika Pranayam, deep breathe. Sit straight and we are going to do with the bhajan our deep breathe in and out. Inhale, exhale, two and a half seconds you breathe in, two and a half seconds you breathe out and strengthen your lung. When you breathe in, widen your lungs, chest, contract your diaphragm and expand your stomach outwards. Yeah, And when you want to release, Relax the lungs, relax your stomach, <coughs> diaphragm, and your. <coughs> and you start deep breathe and you breathe out. Eyes closed. You all know the mudra. This time we are going to do it with the mudra, but in the middle we are going to change. So deep breathe. <coughs> Listen the bhajan. It relates to the swas. Nice smile, pretty face, and more pretty charm on your face. Oh, 
It's a lock, but the thumb should be up. Now, you bring the finger out, the index finger, and bend. So it is easy. So this will be your yoni mudra. Which one? Your, it is easier if you bend like that. Yeah, the thumb, knuckles, and you press it and open your, all the, all the other fingers are like that. You open and you keep it like that. The easiest way, but it should be pointing your uterus. Yoni mudra. Any problems? It's your muladhar chakra. It will calm down your nerves over there, overacting. It will calm your bladder nerves. It will awake, it is awakening of the kundalini. Your nimudra, kapalbhati, keep on doing kapalbhati. I was just showing outside, yeah? So now it's inside. It should be in this position. Excellent for Muladhar Chakra. Very, very strengthening. And relax. Deep breathe. Um, now we are going to do the Bhaiya Pranayam, contracting and pulling up your Muladhar Chakra. So it will come up, okay, your Muladhar Chakra. So still go in your um, Gyan Mudra. So push your hands deep in. Lady sitting on the chair, push your hands, push your shoulders at the back. Now this we are going to do Mulband, Muladhar Chakra. So it will more, uh, strengthen, you bring it up and contract. It is going to strengthen your pelvic muscles. It will relieve the pain. A lot of people have got pain when they pass the urine. So this Muladhar Chakra is excellent. It is the pain in the tailbone of bladder. It will help that. Then you come to Udyan Chakra, which relieves the diabetic. Diabetes people, it will help that. And indigestion any excess fat. Then you come to your Jalanda, which refreshes your brain. It nourishes. So when you get plenty of oxygen, it will nourish your heart, release the high blood pressure, and it is easy sending the messages to each part. So deep breathe, dig your hands down, lock, the energy, the three energies, the three main bandhas, mulband for bladder, udyan for indigestion, jalanda, nourishing your heart and release high blood pressure. Hold. When you are tired, when you want to release the oxygen, open the bandhas, open from the uh, throat, 
then you go to Udyan, and then you go to Muladar. So it is reverse. So deep breathe again. Muladar Chakra, Udyan Band, Jalandar Band. So root chakra, Swadhisthan chakra, and Jalandar. Root, solar, uh, solar chakra, Jalandar, throat chakra. And exhale. One more time. We must do this. Deep breathe. Keep on closing and meditating on each bandhas, the three main bandhas, and hold. Exhale, throat, and come down, and relax in the mool band. Now we are going to do Agni, uh, Agni Sar, which is again, we are going to attend to our stomach, which is going to help strengthening the bladder. So deep breathe and you breathe out. So breathing in and exhaling completely, holding the breath out, hold it, pull it up, your uterus, and you go inside out, inside out, inside out, your stomach, in, out, in, out, in, out and relax. One more time. Inhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. Exhaling completely. Hold the breath out. Draw your stomach in and out. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. And you relax. Relax your shoulders now. Relaxing your shoulders. And now we are going to do our Anulom Vilom. Now, Anulom Vilom, everybody knows. Any blockages. So where are you going to start? Left side. Breathing in to your left. Left and right. So now, you know, you want to activate your brow chakra. So what you do is you put your two fingers, which is space and air. Space and air, we need air, oxygen, and we need space. Yes, so two fingers. And then you take your thumb, close your right nostril, and breathe through your left. left. Deep breathe, and with the two fingers, two little, uh, uh, your a ring finger and your the one little finger which represents water. Yeah. Inhale, exhale. Don't move the fingers because this will activate your Agya Chakra. Nice. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Longer breath in, longer breath out. One breathing in and out. Longer breath. When you're going to meditate, you are going to meditate on your bladder.
when you breathe in and out, it balances your both the hemisphere of your brain. And the, there is a nitric oxygen which is going to release when you are breathing deep in and deep out. It meets in the middle of your Agya Chakra and it releases the nitric oxygen which is going to help to activate your whole brain, whole system. It will cleanse your respiratory system, all the passage. It will help you to relieve your anxiety. You don't want any anxiety, depression, migraine. We want to keep our pineal gland absolutely clear. Don't think of yesterday, it will make you cry. Don't think of tomorrow, it will depress, it will give you fear. Just think of today, be happy. While you are doing a no long belong, smile. Live for today. Ganga, Yamuna, and meeting in Saraswati. Ida Nadi, Pingra Nadi, Madhya Nadi. And we relax here because of our time. Now we are going to share the pastrika to the people who can't do it. So deep breathe, meditating all the time on seven chakras. So deep breathe. Oh. So now we are going to do some uh, pelvic exercise. Uh, people who are sitting on the floor, they can do it while lying down. People who can't do it, they can do Anulom Vilom watch. And tomorrow morning, you are going to do all this pelvic exercise in your bed. Must do it. Yes. And we are going to do some exercises over here. So lie down on the mat. The first exercise is just lie down straight, straight on the mat, straight. And you bring your legs up, feet up, feet up, 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 and you are going to widen, widen, like that, widen, and you bring it up. Breathe out, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Then you bring it to 90 degrees. You remember last week we did wall exercise? So it is the same. That will help your muscles over your Mulada Chakra, your hips, and water retention. So while you are awake, all the water or all it goes out by urination. So like that. Then you take and cross it. Cross it like that. Like that. Cross it and hold it tight. This will bring the pelvic muscle closer. Closer. And you sit like that for few seconds and come out down. Now you go up and put your left leg on your right up. So you cross, cross the top of your legs, not over here. Up, cross, lie down and you relax. The third exercise is you hold your ankle and you lift up your middle body. 
excellent. This is the main exercise for your pelvic. If you can't remember any other, you must do this. If you can't hold yourself like that, lift up, give a support to your back and lift up. This contracting your Muladhar Chakra. And down. You have to do 10 times. Today we haven't got much time. So once more, we do that. And down. Then you lie down on your left side. Go on your left side and you lift up your leg up. 90 degrees. Hold it so it should be straight. The other leg should be bent and come down. So same, you change the other side, left, you bend, bend, and you take it up. So this will stretch your uterus, strengthen your core muscles and up and down. So the last one you do is, you go up, but you go 60 degrees, like that, 60 degrees. Only 60 degrees up. Hold if you need a support, and down. Hold and up. And then the last one is, for your core muscles and you Muladhar Chakra, you go back on your stomach and you do Halasan. You go, put your hands under your thigh and you go up, breathe in. Now this contracts your Muladhar Chakra. Up, down. Inhale, up, down, up, down and you relax. You relax. How are you going to relax? Interlock your hand and stretch. Stretch. Your feet should be on your toes. On your toes and you are going to stretch. Stretch your whole body. Put your feet on your toes. Pull yourself. Closing your Muladhar Chakra. And you relax. So now all the exercise I've shown you is for our bladder, strengthening our bladder. Now we are going to do, again we sit, and we are going to do Domukh Asana. So, Move the legs up here, and right leg under your left. Left, breathe in, breathe in, and you put it up. Ladies, on the chair, I will show you in a minute. Interlock your hands, put it under your thigh, and gently lift up yourself. Specifically, Gamuk Asan for your uterus, your pelvic muscle. It will strengthen your Manipur Chakra, Pakistan Chakra. Now the hand which is, uh, the leg which is up, you take the hand up, the same hand. If the left leg is up, don't worry, whichever. And you go up and hold. Remember, I taught you the trick. The trick is you bring your hand right up to the on your bone, up like that. Oxygen, fill up more oxygen and take it up. And you go very easy and you hold. Now this is Dalmuk Asan and you relax. It also helps diabetic people. So now you change. You change your leg 
first you had left, now you had left. Don't worry even if you had first wrong. But you breathe in, inhale up, closing your muladhar chakra, straightening. And now you bring the hand up and hold it. Pull, pull up. As you are pulling, the muladhar chakra is stretching like that. Yes? And you exhale. So this was our Dhamuk Asan related to our bladder. Men, for men, it is excellent if they have got uh, the problem with their bladder. Up, up, up. And relax. Relax. Gently go up again. And you relax. And now we are going to do Brahmani. So Brahmani, again, it is relaxing your, your head. So we, it is relaxing your Brahma Chakra. Brahma Chakra up here. It will activate 84, 84 nadis. It will activate. When you do Brahmani, 84 nadis, it releases a chemical composition which is going to help your pineal gland, which is like a piece, teeny jet low. And it is caring for how many illnesses? 203. You must remember the this. It will clear when you do Brahmani, 203 illnesses it's going to clear. Now you're going to focus in your solar flex and you are going to hum because solar flex is the master point of activation of all the illnesses. So deep breathe, hum like a bee three times. First you've got to sit straight and hum. Mm -hmm. Mudra, meditate on all the seven chakras with your open lips. You are going to chant Om Mantra, which is a universal mantra, very powerful mantra. So deep breathe. Oh. you are taking in and out. Do not alter your breath while you are breathing in and out. Think you are taking all the positive energy of universe. Your whole body is getting activated with the powerful positive energy. So you can see positive, talk positive, think positive, help positive, hear positive thoughts only, positive things only. Now you are going to pray to the Lord, whoever you believe in, oh Lord, whatever asana, pranayam I've done so far should benefit my whole body. 
Take away all my illnesses. Make me free from all the illnesses. Make my body strong. Om. Raising your hands with the Om Mantra and get all the pressure points done in your body. So you have benefited a lot today, which all of you were doing it along with me. So doing together, you are getting all energy from each other. Though you can't see it, but you are getting the energy, positive energy. Put it in your eyes, hands on your eyes, eyes closed. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Now open your eyes while your hands are still on your eyes. Transfer all the positive energy through your eyes, into your body and your whole system. And you relax, relax, relax. And now we are going to go for our prayers. So we are going to pray for us, but first we are going to pray for others and then for us. So deep breathe and you are going to repeat the prayers after me. May all be healthy. May all be happy. May all enjoy prosperity. May none suffer. May none suffer. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. So we all want to be healthy. If we are healthy, then only we are going to be happy. And if we are happy, then only we are going to enjoy the prosperity which we have in past. We worked so hard, all of us. So we want to enjoy the prosperity. Yes, materialistic thing like a big car, city, big house, we are enjoying that anyway. But the prosperity is our grandchildren, our daughter-in-laws, our son-in-laws. So we want to enjoy the family. So we are asking the God to help us, to enjoy, make us healthy. And now we are going to go for our medicine. So, oh, yeah, I don't know where the time goes. So now we are going to do the last medicine. So once there was uh, uh, two friends. So one friend got married. It was almost 15 years. And the other got married and it was 12 years. So when they met up in Hero for coffee, the both friends were talking and one friend asked, God, you have been married for past 15 years, but whenever I see you, whenever I meet you, you're always so happy. What is the secret? Because I've been married 12 years and we are not happy. We are having arguments every time. So tell me your secret. What is your secret? So the other friend, who is very happy in his life, he's saying, look, when I got married, the very first day, when I brought my bride into the house, I had a big board saying these words. It, it, it will mean in Gujarati. Yes? Everybody got it? And it says, I put this board everywhere in the house, whether in the kitchen, in the bedroom, everywhere. So what does it say? Anybody? Anybody, Saraj? What does it say, this, this thing in Gujarati? Well done, Max. Open, open your, open your uh, this thing, unmute yourself. What does it say? This is my secret. He says, switch, uh, unmute yourself. Sarah Ben, can they unmute themselves? No, they can't. 
They can't. Okay. I think I could Who's read. Who's got Max their hands on? Yeah, I could read Max uh, Max's lips, and uh, he was correct. What does the? I can't see anybody's hands. Uh, Prafula Dave raised her hand. Prafula Dave, uh, Pana. Unmute yourself. Okay. Max, can you call me? Raise your hand. This is the secret. I have been, I've been very, very happy for past 15 years in Gujarati. Two K. Nina Ben. Nina Ben, I'm Prafula. Yes, I know. So, a husband and ke, wife and ke, two KM. But well don't done. accept it. Excellent. <laughs> yes. So, this was the secret two K M. of me. This is the secret of me being happy for my whole life. Two KM. Well <laughs> done. Just so joy, so, Fantastic. Uh, very good, very good. Thank you. So, <laughs> so well done. Um, our um, uh, 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 Ashok Bhai, um, very welcome, very warm welcome to our uh, W2W group. And uh, uh, Ashok Bhai is going to uh, sing um, a bhajan by the looks of it with his lovely voice. Thank you, Ashok Bhai. Thank you very much. Very welcome. Thank you very much, Sarvane Jashi Kashna. Panaben, is it okay to sing? Yep. Yes. Okay, yes, thank you very much. Five. Yeah, I think Nina Ben just gave us a very good uh, message. So I was going to sing yes. one um, fast Bollywood song, but I've changed my mind. Uh, I'm going to sing a lovely bhajans. Now, bhajans have got very lovely meanings. Maru jivan sugandhi bane. So I think wow. we are living uh, in this world and we want to do good things like what uh, Nina Ben is doing, you know, doing yoga and telling you all the what to do. So the bhajan is all about, if you become like a, say, flower, then we will give the nice uh, smell, yeah? If you become like agarbati, you know, like instant stick, yeah? Then, apne badi je, apne apne bijane, So, I think it's a very nice bhajan, appropriate bhajan for this morning. So, I hope you enjoy it, yeah? Thank you very much. I hope I get relaxed, get bhajan relaxed to this. Who can Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, I think uh, if you all stay muted, it will be great. Yeah, thank you. One, one. Maru Jeevan Sugandhi Bane Maru Jeevan Sugandhi Bane He Maru Jeevan Sugandhi Bane Maru Jeevan Sugandhi Bane Ekaj Arman Chhe Mane Maru Jeevan Sugandhi Bane Ekaj Arman Chhe Mane Maru Jeevan Sugandhi Bane Bale kaya 
आराख थई समे बले काया आराख थई समे मारो जीवन सुगंधी बने अरमान छे मने मारो जीवन सुगंधी बने प्रभु चरणों में रहूं गमे प्रभु चरणों में रहूं गमे मारु जीवन सुगंधी बने हो एक ज अरमान छे मने मारु जीवन सुगंधी बने सुगंधी बने मारो जीवन 
सुगंधी बने मर जीवन सुगंधी बने मर जीवन सुगंधी बने थैंक यू वेरी मच अशोक भाई अमे तो विच यू लवली मेलोडियस वॉइस अमारो जीवन ने एकदम सुगंधी बना दी दी तू आज तो थैंक यू वेरी मच धन्यवाद वेरी वेल वेरी वेल एक्सेलेंट I am singing bhajans uh, for uh, it is for the private uh, part the bhajan party I would say after one after I mean they, somebody's invited me to do bhajans at 4:30 <laughs> I will send uh, my invite to uh, Panna Ben and if anybody wants it uh, is available to join at 4:30 for about hour and a half yeah okay. thank you very thank much you thank you so for much. allowing me to sing so thank, you. thank you 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 wonderful you know it's it's so lovely you always coming and doing all this favor for everybody so thank you so much okay i can see panna panna you can continue thank you ashok bhai lovely voice beautiful voice beautiful bhajan okay i thought i could see panna but obviously she's having problems so i so yeah just to let everybody know please um join in in the other events and neena ben again once again another fantastic Thank session you. i hope that whoever had a problem with the bladder who was talking about it in the be good feel good group i hope they attended and i hope everybody else who has that problem there are many people you know who need to wake up middle of the night to go to the loo like sort of three four times they got to get up so all these points that nina ben has shown i'm sure that will help absolutely everybody and this is something unfortunately that happens as we age you know it's just one of those things side effects of aging so please everybody um do the exercises that uh, nina ben has recommended Nina Ben is so wonderful that you can even contact her privately she doesn't mind she gives her phone number she's happy to give her phone number please stay in the be good feel good group so that you're in contact with Nina Ben and with the rest of us and if you stay in the events group you will know what other functions that we have what other events that we have going on especially the especially the regular events so the regular events we generally have are um so saturday morning the most important of a nina bens event be here make sure you are here because not only do you get this uh, body mind body but and you also get soul from wonderful bhajan singers so you get absolutely everything all in one um saturday afternoons we have kalush which is radio kalush radio for bollywood singing then uh, mondays we have ami ben who does the uh, zumba so please make sure that you attend ami ben's 3 pm every monday uh, she doesn't do the thursday for july and august so no no zumba for um, july and august by ami ben and then monday evenings thursday and thursday evenings we have audio audio bhajans so please ask any of us to join us to those groups and then thursdays and fridays we have zoom um, bhajans and then we have zoom bollywood so please join us for that and friday afternoons we have chair yoga again with neena ben and with chair yoga we all take turns to entertain you as well so you have about 30 minutes of the chair yoga and it's it's actually not just chair yoga but it's dancing and everything and then you get about half an hour of entertainment as well so whether it's antakshri or whether it is a, a bollywood quiz any sort of quiz um we have a number of things lined up for you we even had bingo the last time so please do join us if anyone needs anything all the numbers are there in the mind body group you can contact any of us there's nina ben there's panna there's saroj and there's me uh, thank you very much panna i know she's been uh, you know her wifi is playing up so she might not be here 
but thank you very much. And um, so thank you all so much for coming and please keep coming. And please everybody keep benefiting from these wonderful sessions by Nina Ben and Women to Women, all the events that we bring to you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ashok Bai. Thank you, Saroj, for helping as well. Thank you, everybody. So take care. Lovely. Ashok, I, thank you very I'm, much. Thank I've you just guys. managed to log in. Oh, excellent. Log. Can you hear me? Yes, thank yes. you. Thank you very much, Gita, for covering me up. It was really appreciative. Can I just add on that um, Monday is Ekadasi, so please try and join in on Monday evening, Ekadasi Bachanma. I will put the link in. And also, not forgetting, Ladies Night is next week as well. So try and join in for next week, uh, Ladies Night. And we've got Low Carb on Tuesday, 6th as well. So try and join in for Low Carb. It's a very good session of an hour. And also on the 13th, we've got eye specialist talking about glaucoma and especially for children and grown-ups. So try and join for these uh, sessions if you can. Once again, thank you very much. Ashok Bhai, sorry, I, my Wi-Fi has been playing up today like mad. Um, I feel like throwing my uh, laptop and computer away from me. <laughs> so thank you very much, Gita Ben, Nina Ben, and Saraj Ben again. I appreciate it. Welcome all. Um, to seeing you next week and have a lovely, lovely weekend. Stay away from the sun if the sun is there. Uh, and please, please keep safe. Hello. Take care all. Hope to see you on Monday. Two sessions, don't forget, Zumba and Ekadasi on Monday. Take care. We'll speak to you again soon. Take care. Bye. Thank you, Thank you Asha. Bye. Bye. Uh, Gita Ben, Sarah Ben, Panna. Thank you once again.